Hi, I'm Caleb for ITP Camp 2014. I built a prototype of what I call a grass saver garden. So the idea is that this garden moves during the day, not killing the grass under it. So the solar panel directly drives the motor, which means, ironically, if you put a plant in this contraption, let's call it version one, it will kill the plant because the panel will drive until it hits shade and then it will stop. So it saves the grass and kills the plant. This is uh, something I wanted to do to learn three skills I needed and these, these tools weren't in ITP when I was here in 2006 to 8. One was 3D printers, uh, the other was a CNC router and the other was a laser cutter and I'm using these in, in higher ed in K-12 so I wanted to come down here and I was fortunate enough to be able to come down to try to learn those but I needed a project too and in May I was looking out my back lawn at our raised bed gardens in southern Vermont and I realized we wanted more garden space but we didn't want to dig up any more grass. So by the time I got to camp I'd, I'd come down to a small motor using planetary gears which are really interesting. It's about this much motor and this much gear, 455 to 1 gear ratio, getting torque from very little power. turned out to be about 250 milliamps from a, uh, let's see, a, a 5 watt, 12 volt panel. So the idea behind this project, as I said, was to learn 3D printing. There's about, uh, let's see, four, eight uh, 3D printed parts on this, the edges of the box, uh, and four wheel bearings, and there's pictures of this on the blog post. And then I cut the bottom of the raised bed garden with holes in it so the water can drain. Uh, and um, I CNC cut the plywood bottom with an inlay and, and a hole in the edges. Uh, the CNC router's tough. Um, I got much better at the 3D printer, much more accessible. Maybe in the future it'll become a uh, real grass saver garden, which I think obviously would wake up when the sun was bright and drive really quickly, like immediately drive two feet and stop. Just stop next day, wake up, wait for the brightest sun, drive two feet back. Then you'd have a uh, garden that was saving the grass underneath. Now sure, you could come every day when you watered a regular garden with wheels on it and kick it and save your grass, but then you wouldn't learn about electronics, 3D printers, laser cutters, and CNC cutters. ITP camp's been great. It's been like an encapsulation of my two years here. Uh, kind of the hero's journey compressed uh, up and down and then New York is intense and it's wonderful and ITP is everything at once and I could go on about that. Suffice it to say, ITP Camp was great. I learned a lot. I barely made the project. And uh, I hope you liked the videos and pictures. Awesome, dude.